Hello YouTube, this is Augustus Lodge, and a uh, few people have picked up my videos on YouTube and used them on other sites and commented on them, and somebody says uh, I could be powerful and dangerous if I didn't live in an attic in the middle of nowhere. So right they are, that is right. Uh -huh. This whole vlog is going to be creationism and atheism. Could they both be wrong? There are certain powerful people in the world that would like a dichotomy, would like a drama, an empty drama between the larger groups of people in the world and have them fighting with one another. Hmm. Both being wrong. I've had my share of uh, Bible hangers and Christians and creationists uh, assailing me with uh, their views and their opinions and I'm one to not have opinions really I, I like to know and consider it's much better and uh, I believe that I know God and I believe <laughs> see I'm using the word believe again it's so hard not to because everybody else uses it. I know God. I don't choose to believe in Him. Because belief is with opinion and it's fickle. Really. And the first argument these creationists and Christians have with me is, uh, first of all, they assume I'm an atheist and I say, no, I think there's a God, yes, but not the God you worship. <laughs> Don't you understand that the publisher has powerful uh, ability to uh, control what people, what is known out in the world? And without any intuition and consideration, you won't get anywhere. But isn't it intuition a powerful thing? See, Constantine commenced the Council of Nicaea in 325, and uh, he reworked the Bible just the way he wanted it. If you want to control certain populations, you want to compete with other people, other world religions and his enemies and uh, his competitors. And so he created this religion called Christianity. Before that it was called Gnosticism and there was philosophers like Plato and Aristotle studying the whole philosophy behind hmm, monotheism and it's a pantheon, a collective. And I think that too. Hmm. And uh, aren't human beings designed, really, with flaws? Look at chimpanzees. Uh, these people, science people, like to say, look at chimpanzees. They have 98 percent of the same DNA as us. Yeah, but they also have 48 chromosomes, and we have 46. So I'll try to explain that one. And the other one, they found all this junk DNA in human genome, and it's, I like to usually call it inactive DNA. See, chimpanzees, if they're left alone to their own devices, they do pretty well in their environment. They're, and most animals out there do pretty well in their natural environment too. There's accidents, there's conflict, but the population still is in there doing well, and they don't have much trouble. But look at human beings. If you want to know what an alien is, go look in a mirror. <laughs> we're the closest thing to aliens on this planet that everybody ever said, saw. Because we're probably uh, designed that way through a eugenics program, through the ages. And also behaviorism, like uh, using things like propaganda and religion and anything other distraction to keep us scattered and uh, distracted. So, my thing is, neither is correct on creationism and atheism. Don't you think there's a mastermind out there? Or a powerful group, or a bunch of masterminds that all know each other and can work together throughout the ages, making sure that we're always fighting with each other. And make, and uh, somebody else behind the scenes saying, look at this population that we founded here. And look at them. Look how what much control we have over them. 
And the way to get across from this is to say, use your intuition and consideration to just analyze things for yourself and be objective. I mean, it's from a subjective stance, but you can still be objective and not let your emotions and your past ideas get in the way and realize that we're a controlled species as human beings and uh, there's enough sep suppressed technology out there that uh, constructing things like planets and uh, living organisms and other things isn't really that difficult if you wipe all the other garbage away. Hmm? Maybe if you work your mind, you can activate your DNA. You work your mind and body. I felt different. I've been physically training and studying and been pretty sequestered by myself for quite a, some time now. And uh, I have learned that if you put in the effort, if you really put your time in with a definite plan, you can change your whole makeup of your being. I mean, from the fa basic fabric. And I wish other people could figure this out too. Creationism and atheism, it's just an engineered drama, don't you understand? They both could be wrong. This is Augustus Lodge. Thank you for watching YouTube.